How did it feel to be back on the set as Nebula? And was it fun reuniting with everyone? It felt incredible to be back on set with everyone. It truly coming together feels like a family being reunited. Um, it's been almost 10 years now that we've been working together and we've been coming together sporadically over a decade and that is quite those were quite formative years of our lives and we get to run around as superheroes every so often it's actually the best gig ever it seems as though nebula has lightened up quite a bit mm. tell us about her attitude and where we find her at the beginning of the film Nebula definitely has loosened up and lightened up a little bit in this film. You know, she's been on this sort of journey of healing throughout all of the movies, and now she's at a place where Thanos has been eliminated from her life. She can start to develop a little bit more of that lighter personality. She's got a little bit more of a sense of humor this time. Um, she has a fun rapport with Star-Lord. They're very like quippy and back and forth with each other. And it's just been, it's been really nice to explore this new version of her, um, this more evolved version of her, um, and one that has more compassion and more vulnerability. Describe Nebula's interesting arc throughout the trilogy, and what has it been like as an actor bringing her to this point? I just feel so lucky that Nebula has been given the most incredible emotional arc over the course of all these films. Um, she started off when we met her as like a bitter, tormented, twisted character on the periphery. Um, and then actually, as we sort of gradually got to know her throughout the movies, um, we started to empathize with her and understand her point of view and she didn't seem so villainous anymore. Um, and then we watched her relationship with Gamora kind of develop and they started to understand each other and gain empathy towards each other. Um, and then she started to feel like for the first time in her life, she had a family around her and people who actually felt love towards her. And I think she probably has never experienced that in her entire life and never felt that. And so for her, it's been a journey of learning how to accept that, how to feel worthy of that love. And I think she's finally in a place where she feels that way now. There are amazing practical sets in this film. Can you tell us your favorite and why? There's so many amazing sets on this movie. I think one of my favorites would have to be the sort of like, um, like the skin belly like substance. <laughs> It was all squidgy and we got to wear like fun space suits uh, and it was it was just one of the more unique sets I think I've ever seen. Transforming into Nebula takes a lot of work. Has the makeup process changed in any way throughout the years? It does take a lot of work to get into the whole Nebula get up. Um, the makeup process has definitely evolved over the years. On the first film, it took five hours and I had shaved my head. So it was like they would get all the stubble off of my head first thing and then glue everything to my face and neck. Um, and then we sort of streamlined that over the years. And actually, I was able to keep my hair for this last movie. And so that actually added an hour onto the makeup because we had to wrap the hair. But I was willing to do it because I'm like, I get to have hair. Woohoo! Um, so it's definitely been streamlined, but, um, you know, it's, it's a challenging process, but it's one that I wouldn't trade because I get to play this amazing character with such a cool look and it really helps me feel like her. You've worked with James Gunn on all three films. What was the experience been like? Working with James is one of the best experiences I've ever had. He's one of my favorite filmmakers in the world, one of my favorite people in the world, which is an amazing combination. He just has such a strong point of view. Like he knows exactly what he wants. And when he makes a movie, it's a James Gunn movie. It has a sense of identity to it. You can tell that he made it. It's his sense of humor. It's his writing. It's his style. It's his taste in music, everything. Um, and so you feel like you're in really safe hands because he you know, will tell you if something's not working. And, and that's really important. Um, sometimes, you know, actors are too, uh, directors are too uh, intimidated to tell the actor if like their improv line is actually making the scene worse, which is quite, quite often the case. <laughs> so it's like, you know, he has this natural authority to him where he makes you feel valued and he appreciates your effort, but he knows where to guide you and how to take your energy and say, Maybe don't say that, but you could say that instead, and it turns into something really funny. And so I always really appreciate that. This is the last film in James Gunn's trilogy. Tell us what it was like when it wrapped and how you felt. Oh, wrapping this movie was one of the saddest experiences. Um, I mean, it's just the end of an era. It's the end of 10 years of our lives. Um, we're not gonna see each other uh, regularly anymore and that just comes with so many emotions and I feel deeply attached to this character now as well like it's been an amazing exploration for me into 
you know, what it feels like to be a scapegoated sibling in a toxic family dynamic, not to get too serious, but you know, it's been really, really fascinating to me. And so to let go is difficult, but at the same time, we're all like so proud of what we've done. So it's like bittersweet. What do you hope audiences will experience when they watch Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3? I hope the audiences experience the wild emotional roller coaster that is Volume 3. I mean, okay, I just saw it for the first time and I have never been on such a ride. <laughs> like I was crying and then I was laughing hysterically and then I was crying again and then laughing again. It was like genuinely like a roller coaster. Um, and you learn more about Rocket, which is just so cool. And people will experience the last adventure, the last hurrah. And it is so Guardians. It's so funny. It's uh, irreverent, but it's also emotional.